Hello again, this is Ajahn Brahm uh, from Bodhinyana Monastery, just coming up to the end of the first fortnight of our Rains Retreat. Many of you know that uh, on my birthday celebrations, uh, we raised a lot of money for a Newbury Buddhist Monastery by auctioning off many items. However, we always got more items coming in and I got very tired. I'm 72 now and I really want to have a 73rd birthday. So I decided to let's uh, stop now because people were getting tired as well as me and to preserve my life for another birthday next year. So because of that, we still have a number of items left over which haven't been auctioned yet. So we decided to do this like silent auction in other words, we won't have people bidding against each other, but just bidding online for a couple of weeks. And then those people who put the highest bid get the auction item. And it's also because uh, Anukampa Bhikkhuni project, it's got to that point now that they have lots and lots of people, I mean lots of people, wanting to come and stay wanting to uh, come and ordain as bhikkhunis in UK. And I've been there, I've stayed there overnight, and there's not that much space there. And if you have a second bhikkhuni, which is important, and one in training, and any visitors, it's just chock-a-block in there. So I really agree with uh, Aya Chanda. We do need to somehow expand the place and probably the only way to do that is to it's a wonderful place to start with but start looking for another property with bigger uh, more rooms it was a great test to find out if this place was going to be popular and it's more popular than even Ayachanda ever expected so if you are able to dip into your pockets and make some good karma. Life is uncertain, you don't know how long you have. And I always remember this saying, it's always better to donate with a warm hand than with a cold hand. And that means that you know, before you pass away, so you can actually feel the merits of it and see a wonderful thing to create the opportunity for nuns, bhikkhunis, fully ordained bhikkhunis, to practice and have hope in England, in UK. Of course, I do that because it's my home country, at least you know, where I was born anyway. I still feel a responsibility for that, and I really want to make this project actually work. It does cost a lot over in the UK, but we're getting there slowly. So for those of you who uh, do you know, celebrate everything I've given to you, then please help with the project over in UK. The things we are still haven't um, uh, auctioned off yet. Uh, four things, four of the charcoal paintings. One of them was the, uh, the lion. The lion which is at Jhana Grove. As you go into Jhana Grove, you can see two lions on either side of the path. And of course, as you all know, if you read a little booklet about this, the lions are the wrong way round. The one on the left should be on the right, the one on the right should be on the left. But nevertheless, we've only selling one copy of a line. I'm not telling you whether it's on the left side or the right side, but it apparently it was on the wrong side. But anyway, that doesn't matter because <coughs> we are in Australia. Australia is down under, and in down under, everything goes the other way around. Even like the water, when you pull the, water, the plug out of the sink, the water goes the other way around than it does in the Northern Hemisphere. So because of that, it's really good insight. We did actually put it the correct way around. We also have uh, the stupa over in, uh, over in Jhana Grove depicted. And that also is, that was donated by uh, the monk, Venerable Sri Dhamma, Sri Dhamma, I've got his name now, Sri Dhamma Wudo, you can correct me afterwards, uh, who donated that for us so that we could have like a Buddhist theme uh, to uh, Jhana Grove Retreat Centre. And many of you have seen that, it gives a wonderful ambience, so that will always remind you 
of any retreats you've ever done over in Jhana Grove. And the third thing which is uh, uh, on auction there is the, the Buddha statue. And that Buddha statue is the one which is in uh, our main hall in Bodhinyana. And any of you who have been to Bodhinyana, I keep saying this, it's not just personal view, but that hall has got a huge amount of power. And that Buddha statue presides over that. And it's so big that it did literally, I was there when it happened, uh, before the tiles of the roof were put on, we lowered it in the space between the, uh, the rafters so that we could get it inside the hall. There's no way you can get that Buddha statue through those doors. It came literally through the roof. And it's a beautiful Buddha statue and it's been there for such, such, such a long time. So a painting of, not painting, the charcoal drawing of that is also the third thing on auction. And the fourth thing is the caravan in which Ajahn Wayama stayed for two or three years. And my goodness, that was so ascetic. I sometimes consider myself to being ascetic, especially in my early days, but I don't know if I could have stood staying in there. It was so hot during the, uh, the summertime and so many flies around. But she stayed in there without complaining. It tells me just the endurance of these bhikkhunis, these nuns, who just have to do so much more to get established in this world. And so I don't want uh, Aya Chanda or any other of the bhikkhunis having to stay in caravans in UK. They'll be freezing cold. So you really do want to get them a nice place to stay so they can grow. So all of the funds raised on this go to that course. And it reminds you, of this is what the, the Buddhist nuns are put up with for many years in the cold, in the hot, with hardly any sort of uh, comforts at all. So just to remind you, why are we doing this? So that is for the uh, Anukampa Bhikkhuni Hermitage. So we can build up the funds and then we have to get a bigger place. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to really take off. You know, it can stay as it is, but it doesn't grow. And we need to be able to grow. And it would be wonderful for those of you who are generous enough to offer some, either just to, for these auction items or just send off a donation to Anakampa Bikuni Project, that you will know that that is going to create a huge uh, benefit to Buddhism in Europe, especially in UK, to see flourishing brown robes, good practitioning, bhikkhunis, women, having the chance to walk the path of the Buddha. It's a beautiful thing to be able to sponsor. So thank you all for listening. Ajahn Brahm.